Okay, we're here with Joe, Intel Corporation. Um, we're here to talk about the new Vive platform, uh, what it means for gaming and media and entertainment of all type uh, in the home. Thanks for having me. Uh, what Vive is, is a PC platform designed to optimize, to enjoy digital entertainment. So what we've done here is we see as the PC industry and the C industry converge, we've seen people have tons of digital content locked on their PC, or there's tons of content out on the internet. And they need a way to organize it, acquire it, control it, share it, enjoy it, both on the PC and around the home. And Vi PC is a combination platform combination of hardware and software to enable that experience to enjoy that content. And what you're going to see is Vive PCs coming in many different form factors. With our new platforms which have much more performance with a dual core processor and lower power, particularly with core dual and coming later core two duo, you're able to develop a lot of new form factors for Vive. I want to show you a couple of those here. One of these here from high grade. You see this very small platform and say, well, is this really a PC? Well, this is a very powerful PC. It's a full dual core platform here. It can run high def content, high end gaming, has AO211 in it, Bluetooth, and even has a TV tuner. So I can run my, my TV content, run movies, play high end games, all on this platform using Vive, Vive capabilities and our core dual processor in here. Here's another one that's been just real quick about that last one. What, what would that compare to in terms of a, of a PC today? Would that be a high-end PC like a, um, a gaming PC that you could like, bring around to a LAN party or something and play with your friends, plug into a network and play LAN games with your friends? That's, like, that's how much power is in there? This, this is a perform it has a Pentium dual-core processor, so it's our highest processor um, for mobile products out there today. So yes, it can be used for that type of capabilities. We still do have even higher end processors with Extreme Edition for the highest end gaming uh, platforms, but this would, would provide a plenty of performance for certainly uh, mainstream or even the, the beginning of the high end gamers. All right, very cool. So this other one, the whole idea is, is as people use their PCs to enjoy and consume content, they're going to want to put, put the PCs in other rooms in their home besides just hiding it under their desk as a gray, big gray tower. So that's why you see this, this innovative small form factor that runs very quietly, that looks aesthetically nice and very small. Here's another example of that, of this type of product here. You see, well look, it's, it's, first of all, it's, it's already running, running content right now, full screen high def content using based on the Vive platform and it's no wires. This yeah. is wirelessly can can hook up to my to other PCs in the room. I can hook it to my TV set, can run TV content, I can bring this out on the porch, enjoy my content here, play games on it. Again, dual core, AO211, Bluetooth, even has a camera on it. Wow to do video conferencing. So it's kind of like a go anywhere media center. You know, you can take it anywhere in the house and then watch TV, stream movies from, an, from another media center and you sort of just have it as, you know, a TV in any room and, and uh, it's pretty portable, right? Exactly, right on. And with the network ability with AO211, you can go around the internet, go to Movie Link or some other service. Oops, I hit one of the, the buttons here, but uh, you can go out and actually order more content and acquire more services and capabilities, all from this. It's a full PC. Now, t talk about the power that in terms of um, how long would this last on a, it's obviously on battery, how long would it, that battery last? Well, the battery probably on this thing is, is only about an hour running a full, full screen high def content as this. The idea is, isn't, it's not a, a notebook that you take out uh, on the road with eight hour life that you do with our, our, our Centrino platform. But it's more designed that with a battery power that you could take it, plug it in from one place, bring it to another room, and not lose any content, lose your connectivity, and then plug it in again. So that's the idea of putting a battery in this thing that it can still run for some period of time. Right. I could see, I could also see if you're trying to do a do-it-yourself project or something, and you have a, you know, it's couldn't be a more, much more than an hour. You could unplug it, bring it to your work site or something, and follow the instructions on the show or on the TV, and and then plug it back in when you're done. That's a good point. Yeah, you bring it to a work site, bring it to a, you have a cooking show or something. You want to bring it to the kitchen and watch Emerald figure out how to do spaghetti. Uh, you know, the right type way to do pasta. There you go. Bring it there and go do that. 
All right, that's great. That's a good introduction to the Vive. When can we expect these? Uh, when can we expect these platforms out? Well, you can already go out and buy Vive PCs today. Um, some of these platforms are coming out later this year. This one here is already being offered by High Grade out of UK, and you can order it on the internet today. Um, you'll start seeing the other platform I showed you coming out from some uh, people, uh, some PC OEMs in the United States in the next couple months. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Dan.